Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today we got to talk about Yellow Beezy and how he can create a little bit of longevity in the game. Now first, if you don't know who Yellow Beezy is, well, you might have heard his single, That's On Me. And if you haven't heard that single, well, maybe you know him as the rapper who made it rain on his own mama. And those things are cool, yeah, 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 but I'm not here to talk about that today. Right now, as I said, we're talking about longevity. Now, if you can see on World Star, he has videos that have like 3 million views. Uh, maybe he has a couple more million view videos, but really that isn't even necessarily blown up by a lot of people's standards. I know that is for a lot of young artists. Hey, y'all can't wait to get a million views. And I know that is for people who discovered him early on, but he's still at a relatively early place in the game. And what makes him unique in his position is he's coming from a city where there's not really a lot of big big artists that are popping in the game, Dallas, Texas. You really haven't seen artists come from Dallas, Texas and really make it, make it out. He is that artist right now. He's being positioned as that artist and he's really showing love to Dallas, Texas. Always talking about, hey, we come from a place there's a lot of good artists. I don't really hear nobody out there like that that's winning, haven't really seen it. Like we ain't just really hear no big, big name as artists just, I guess, to blow out there yet. You know what I'm saying? We got the exception of Post Malone, you know what I'm saying? He like on the Astro, but like for like just the street rappers broke through yet. Like for us mainstream. We got a lot of talent there. And I'm not just saying that just cause nah, like we got some real talent, some motherfuckers out there. It just, it ain't for some reason, we just ain't, like the street rappers ain't just broke out their mark. And it's like, just know we fixing that. That shit under construction. Like you gonna hear about this shit in the next couple months. Like if they ain't heard about it, they finna see the whole Dallas scene just pop up. And I promise you that. Unfortunately, the biggest artist that is a rapper that came out of Dallas, Texas is Vanilla Ice. The reason all of that stuff is so important is any of you guys and gals out there who are coming from a city where it's not a lot of people that have really made it in the game or from, then you actually have an opportunity to for real put your city on. That's what a lot of you guys really want to do out there. It's dope, but it can't just be like, hey, I'm the first person that came from this city, so I'm putting the city on my back. One, it does take you mentioning the city, but the next level and to really do it and create longevity in your career, whether or not you become huge, huge or not, is taking on the Gucci Mane effect. If you watch that video I did on Gucci Mane, I'll put the link in the description below. And you create a legitimate infrastructure where you're giving light to other rap artists, other whatever kind of artists, and also other producers. And not only giving them support because you're signing all of them, but giving them support when they're unsigned and they're still free in their situations to do whatever you want to do and just be cool because that gives you the leverage not only as you put the city and give it a name but you've also put other people on and help change their lives or give them small opportunities it doesn't mean you have to change everybody's lives but there's two ways to do that you get a little bit of money and you can start that off before you get huge or you can wait and have a little bit more leverage you can go through and jump some more of the hoops in the game starting to learn more stuff so then you take that knowledge and you take hopefully the money in a bigger brand and back and that's gonna give you even more leverage when you try to build something back home to help put your city on so Yellow Beezy, he's early in the game, relatively. He could wait, which I would probably recommend to full on, put the city on his back. But that's an opportunity that really does exist for a lot of you guys out there. J. Cole basically did it for his folks. A lot of artists have done that for their folks in one way or another. Tech 9 has done that for his folks. It could be you. We already know Atlanta's on lock, LA's on lock, New York's on lock. Those people, they get big for their own reasons, but it's nothing like being a hometown hero and giving people opportunities that never were there in the first place. So all I want to talk about for this video because I know there's some artists in similar positions while watching these videos. We'd love to know what you guys think about it. We'd love to know you guys' personal aspirations or how you want to position yourself in the game and in reference to your city, whether you're from a big city, small city. But other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.